Watch you guys got another video here for you on things that break your computer. These are the most common things that are breaking your operating system or your computer in 2021. Believe it or not, these are pretty common and people have been doing this for many, many years. So I thought I'd share them with you guys. Hopefully it will stop you from breaking your computer. Okay, so one of the first problems I see people doing is going on the internet and finding a source where they can get a script or batch file to activate Windows. These are piracy and they are illegal. You don't want to be following these methods. It's cheap enough to get uh, Windows activated. Why would you want to go ahead and run some sort of script that you know nothing about? And the problem is with it is that it will generally put a rat or a backdoor rootkit on your system as well. And this will then infect your PC. How do I know this? Because I've removed tons of them from people's computers that have come on our Discord server and asked us to uh, help them. They've got malware on their system and it's generated by these scripts or batch files that they find on the internet. So be very careful when you're running these on your PC. Uh, it will uh, come back and bite you in the long run. So steer clear of these sorts of activation scripts or some sort of activator or key gen activator. Don't use those things because they are generally uh, really nasty and will infect your PC. Hence why they normally ask you to disable your antivirus program whilst running uh, the activator or key gen program or while you're running the script because it will be detected as malware. These are all over the internet. So be careful, don't use these methods. They're not um, legal and it is piracy. So steer clear of those methods. It'll only come back and bite you in the long run. Next up, let's talk about pirate software. I get this question all the time when I get people coming in my Discord server asking for help. And most of the time I will see uh, pirated software or pirated games on their PC. These are obviously being cracked or they've used some sort of patch or key gens or activators or serial keys or whatever it is they've been using to get these. You, these are all over the internet. This is nothing new. These have been around for a very long time. There's some very smart people out there that know how to do this sort of stuff and basically put them up on the internet for you to use or download for free. The problem is nothing is free and it's normally got something laced inside of it, which is like a rootkit. Uh, malware or Trojan or something like that, which is then installed onto your system. Again, hence why they will tell you to disable your antivirus program. Now you'll get a lot of people searching the internet for a particular program that they want to use. They will find one and they have no idea of who has created this program or where it's come from or whether it's safe or not. They'll just download it and they'll normally have no antivirus program on their PC because someone has told them that it slows down your computer. And of course, it's there to protect you. And sometimes they get flagged and sometimes uh, they don't. And these people will run these on their system and generally nine times out of 10, they're going to get infected. So try to avoid using pirated software or games or anything like that because it's not worth it. Eventually, what will happen is a process will start to run in the background, it will be dormant and all of a sudden it will pop up and start using a lot of resources, slowing down your computer. It's doing all sorts of stuff and you'll never know whether it's going to be some sort of backdoor software that allows people to come into your computer or whether it's some sort of key logger that key, key logs all your strokes on your keyboard or whether it's a man in the middle attack, which can be very dangerous when you're using banking online. So that is one of the biggest main problems I see with people on their computers is using pirated software. Okay, next up, let's talk about scripts or debloat scripts or PowerShell scripts. There's so many different types of scripts you can use. These are good and bad depending on what you want from your script. If you don't know anything about scripts or don't know how to read them or use them, then leave them well alone. These will generally remove a lot of parts from Windows that are classed as telemetry or bloat and things like that. Uh, the problem is I see a lot of people using these and then breaking their system and then they can't get that thing to work again properly, which will be, say, for instance, Windows updates or something that they've removed and they don't know how to put it back. Then this is the thing with these debloat scripts. They're useful uh, for people that know how to use them. 
but it's now crept into the mainstream where people are running these and have no clue on what they're doing. And this can generally break your Windows operating system. Now, another big problem I see is registry tweaks. Now, registry tweaks are essential to computers where we uh, need to edit the registry sometimes. And again, it can be very useful for people that are on, say, for instance, Windows 10 Home, and they haven't got the ability to use Group Policy Editor or anything like this, so they have to use the registry. The problem I have with a lot of the tweaks that I see online is it's misinformation where they're saying that using this will give you faster internet. You can show up an image of, say, for instance, how you was only getting 20 down, and now you're getting 300 down by doing this registry tweak or you'll get some sort of frames per second boost or, you know, less system resources being used by using these registry tweaks. They'll also put links in their video description that lead to websites like this, where you can download their pack or their uh, optimization tweak pack. And again, these are just obviously to generate money. And again, these can also give you infections. These sites are not known for their best reputations. So I would not go to these sites, uh, especially clicking on, uh, you know, files that you've got from some guy off the internet and then installing them. You have to be very, very careful. So be careful when you're downloading these particular uh, packs or scripts from people and just running them on your PC. You could end up really messing up your PC and make it worse, you know, because not all PCs are made the same. And again, uh, it's not always going to work for you. And some of these will download malware and stuff on your system as well. Most modern day computers are fast anyway with SSD and also NVMe drives and, you know, faster processing uh, from the new modern day chips. If you've got an old potato PC, then I can understand you get frustrated and you think by doing a lot of these tweaks that it's going to make your PC a lot faster. What generally happens is when you've got an older system, uh, like an old, uh, you know, third gen or second gen or first gen, and you start putting in a modern day graphics card, it is going to start to bottleneck and people want to try to stabilize that. And then they'll promote programs like these uh, on the internet as well, which really there's no need for it in the modern day uh, with these particular types of programs. You don't really need this sort of stuff. But I can see a lot of people using it and uh, promoting it on their websites. They'll also use fancy thumbnails to show you how fast the broadband is once they've done these tweaks. They never show you in their video the before and after because they don't work. And this is the thing. Uh, the increase that you get in speed is probably within the margin of error. So it really doesn't really matter. And you can see these programs always come with no liability which means that using these programs can damage your hardware or damage your PC. So be very careful when you're just doing stuff that you know nothing about. So educate yourself first before you start running any of this sort of stuff. Don't just listen to some guy on the internet and start doing all this thing because it can cause a lot of problems to your PC. And again, at the end of the day, what sort of performance boost do you expect to see? You know, this is the problem. A lot of people think that they're going to be seeing massive improvements, and it's just not possible. I'm yet to see anyone that's made videos showing a before and after. So before they've done all their little tweaks, and then after seeing the differences that it actually makes on their system. And the reason why they don't do that is because it really doesn't show much difference because there isn't any. Uh, the Windows is already optimized pretty well as, a, as it is. This is another program I see people talking about still in 2021. This was around when 56K was around, which is the dial-up modem days where you used to dial in and get onto the internet. And if you see improvements back then, that was pretty much when this program was around. Uh, but we're talking about, uh, you know, super fast broadband nowadays, which I don't think this is going to have any sort of impact on that uh, result there. And you'll see people posting up images saying, I boosted my internet speeds by 50% and it's just complete nonsense. You will not be able to improve your broadband speed by 50% by using TCP optimizer. That's a fact. It's just people like to use something different on the internet uh, to try and get some sort of leverage and get people pulled into watching their content. And to be honest with you, it's just misleading. You are not going to be able to optimize broadband speeds, which are already super fast as they are, 
So unless you're still using a dial-up modem in 2021, then maybe give this a shot because that's about all you're going to get good out of this program. Now, a lot of these uh, tweaks are normally directed towards gamers or people looking to boost performance on their system or get stability on their system when they're gaming. All I can say to those people is spend more time getting better at the game rather than sitting there tweaking your system, wondering why you're not getting so many frags. The reason why is because you're spending too much time tweaking your PC instead of playing more games and playing for longer periods of time and getting better at the game. Do things that are more useful, like learning how to control the spray of your weapon and also learning how to shoot properly and where to be standing, positioning and things like that. And look for places where to, you know, throw flashbangs and grenades off of walls and over walls and things like that to get better at the game. Spend more time doing things like that rather than spending it on things like this, because at the end of the day, it's not going to improve your gameplay. It's basically you, how you play the game. Get better equipment. Spend more time putting money into getting a better monitor, a better mouse, and also a better PC. And that way you won't have to worry about all of these little tweaks and optimizations to try and get better performance out of your potato PC. Maybe it's time that you upgraded your PC. Now, of course, if you want to discuss any of this sort of stuff or you want to join the conversation, then head over to our Discord server. Also, let me know in the comments section below what you think about uh, these tweaks and, and whether they've seen improvements in your PC and maybe show me some benchmarks. Maybe you can show them on the Discord server. Anyway, but that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a big shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I appreciate the support and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.